Why did the ghost go into the bar? To get the booze. <laughs> Thanks for joining me on this Halloween special. Today I'm making three cocktails, all of which have vodka. We have smeared off today. The first one that I'm going to make is, ooh, okay, cotton candy cocktail. Yum. So I'm going to just get my glass. <laughs> ooh, ASMR. Ooh. Oh no. Is there a difference between tonic water and club soda? Because they were selling both of it. This recipe actually called for sparkling water. But I felt like sparkling water, tonic water, and club soda were all the same. No? So this is like kind of a confusing recipe because it says one bottle of vodka, one bottle of sparkling water. So just one bottle. But it didn't even tell you the ounces. I wanted marshmallow vodka, couldn't find marshmallow vodka, but I looked up that whipped cream vodka, kind of the same. You know what, maybe I should have just done like a cup. Okay, so scratch that idea. I'm gonna just do a cup of this and then a cup of vodka. Whatever, it's, it's a drink. And then a cup of whipped cream vodka. Guys. Oh, there we go. <laughs> now, one shot. Look, 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 look. That's like six shots in there. This is only one glass. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We saw a video do this where they had like the cotton candy and they dripped the. They had the cotton candy and they dripped the the alcohol over the, oh my god, they have, you guys are distracting so sorry. me, <laughs> I'm like, her ADD, I know, <laughs> she's like, I got a bone to pick with you, we saw this on Instagram, where they have the cotton candy hung up here, and we thought Halloween, I'll put it in a bone, and then we found this syringe, now this is just alcohol, or the mix of the tonic water, and the whipped cream vodka, with the red food dye just to make it more red as the cotton candy goes. Uh, I'm like not doing this very smoothly at all. Uh, oh, and then it's stuck on it. I mean, it was kind of cool, but it's stuck to the, the bone. Let's taste it now. That was a lot of alcohol. It's a good party drink, definitely. The whole cotton candy thing is really um, cool and interesting and it's a fun thing to let people see, definitely. I mean, having an extra cotton candy, you can just unstick. Uh, oh my God, that was really cool. And just make it sweeter if you want sweeter things or anything like that. It kind of helped make it a little less alcoholic, but definitely a lot of vodka. Oh, it's rated three stars. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, yeah. You need to have better measurements, whoever made that. Okay, well, try it for your Halloween party and let me see how it goes at your party. Hashtag Mayday in my kitchen. drink which is a black magic mule I've never actually had a mule I've always wanted to try one but I think the thought of ginger beer kind of like steered me off recently I did try um, what is it called ginger soda ginger ale and it was not bad so I think it's gonna be fine okay let's get started <gasps> let's get mixing 
The first step is I need to muddle my blackberries and my mint together. I didn't want to use my real, what is it, Mar myrtle and pestle? Muddle and, mortal and pestle? Pestle. Yeah, I didn't want to use it because I didn't want the blackberries to stain it. How much blackberry? Four to five blackberries. One, two, three, four, five. Two. That's it. I love mint. I'm gonna do three. Whatever. Muddleum, which we just figured out is a light smash so that we get flavor and juices, but we're not destroying it. I'm gonna put it in my drink. Lime juice and my vodka and my beer. I didn't know if there was a difference between ginger ale, ginger brew, and ginger beer. Half a lime. Squeeze it. Oh, that's a lot of juice coming out. You know, I didn't know that you were supposed to put it in this way. Did you know that? I thought you put it in that way. Because that's the shape of it. All right. Okay, um, one beer. Make it magic. Wait, the whole thing? Ooh, fancy. Refreshingly light. Do you see how thick that wall is? Do you think that's like a legit shot in there? Shot, 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 shot. <laughs> like that's that. not, one of my friends said, she's like, one day I wanna take as many shots as the song says there are. They jipped me on this when I went to the restaurant because it's a thick wall. So I'm gonna do two shots, but it'll probably technically still be one shot. One, two, oh shoot. Ah, oh my God. I need some ice cubes. Look at me, they're so cute. <laughs> Ow, well oh, it's sticking to me. Like when you put your tongue on a pole. <laughs> it's like sticking to me. Ow. These ice cubes would be super cute if you had like a little punch bowl and like put these in it. But you'd probably need a lot of trays. But that's fine. It was from the... Can't tell them. I don't shop at Dollar Tree. <laughs> it, was for, it was from Dollar Tree, you guys. Okay? It's cool. Don't worry. Still high quality for a dollar. <laughs> or you can have oranges. <laughs> oranges would be cute too. Are oranges or pumpkins? Oh my god. Or you could do pumpkins! Oh wait, you were supposed to stir it. I didn't stir it yet. <gasps> How cute! It's not bad. I definitely think there has to be a difference between like ginger ale and ginger beer and ginger brew or something. I mean, it's a lot of ginger for sure. I mean, it's not bad and it's cute, so I'll drink it. Last one, we are at cocktail number three and this is the Halloween martini. Except I don't have a martini glass, so we're gonna do it in this cute little potion bottle. It'll still be super cute. Let's see if it'll taste good. First step is I'm going to muddle my raspberries with my lime juice. One, two, three, four. I'm doing four. With the lime juice and it wanted half of a fresh lime. We wasted my other half of the lime before. I don't know where, it, oh, someone ate it. All this yummy juice. Squishy squish. I don't have a cocktail shaker, so I'm using what's handy in my kitchen. A coffee cup and another coffee cup, <laughs> Starbucks, some thermal thing. We're just gonna stick it on and shake. There goes my raspberry and lime juice. Ice. I don't know how much ice. Enough. One and a half ounces. I don't know what that means. How would I measure that? How much is a shot? Hey Google, how many ounces is a shot? 1.5. 
Here's oh. a summary from the website en.wikipedia.org. I'm good. The standard hey, size is I'm using the raspberry smeared off vodka. The vodka, the smeared off, the raspberry. There we go. Done with that. Now I'm gonna shake it. Make sure it's on tight. I'm kind of scared. Okay. Ooh. Hire me? Yeah. I'm gonna strain it in this because the opening to my bottle is very tiny, so I can't strain it in it, but that's fine. So. I'm gonna <laughs> oh man. It's all good. It's all good. I'm gonna get my cup, my chilled. Oh, oh, look at that. How cute is this? Put my little poison in it. So it didn't fill it up all the way. You can make another one. That's fine. Or you can just have real martini glasses and then it'd probably be perfect. It doesn't matter. Bottoms up. <laughs> Holy. That's kind of strong. And like bitter at the same time because the raspberries can be like kind of sour. And then you got the lime juice. Thank you for joining me on this cocktail adventure. I had a great time. Hopefully it helps you prepare your cocktails for your Halloween party. So again, this was our raspberry vodka and it was our Halloween martini. It was a little sour. This next one is the cotton candy cocktail. I use whipped cream vodka. It did want marshmallow vodka. There's not a lot of differences between them. I think the marshmallow one is a tad bit sweeter, but with more cotton candy, you can definitely get a sweeter drink. Then our last one is the Black Magic Mule. This one was with our normal vodka, and then we had a ginger beer with it, and raspberries and mint. It was definitely the best out of the three. I did enjoy it. The ginger did overpower a little bit, but I would have definitely drank the entire thing if I was at a Halloween party and I probably would have asked for another one whereas these other ones I probably would have had one and then maybe just gone for like a beer or something afterward because they are pretty sweet and sour and kind of a bit too much. I hope you guys enjoyed this cocktail episode and if you want to make these for your Halloween party I would be so happy to see your guys' um, creations. If you did something different to it to make it it better let me know I use the hashtag mayday in my kitchen and I will feature you guys on my Instagram stories and on my next upcoming YouTube videos don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you like this kind of content please hit that like button so I can start creating more of it and that's it I will see you guys next week next week is another Halloween special so be sure to tune in bye Please do so responsibly. Responsibly? Responsibly? Responsibly. Drink respon- oh, Wow. Drink responsibly. <laughs> Just be careful. Do not over drink and do not drive and drink. That is all I have to say about that.